Welcome back to our business. We now go to head start on government policies. Colin Bell is the deputy, the deputy opposition shadow spokesman on the cultural and creative industries, and he now joins us to respond to the latest CDB report, which indicated that gaps in data collection are preventing Caribbean countries from maximizing the potential of their creative and cultural industries. Good morning, Colin. Welcome. Hey, doctor. Morning. How you doing? I am good, sir. How Morning, are you? Colin. How are you doing? Blessings. Well, stand. Bless up, man. Yeah, man. Bless God man. blessing on the item, you know? Yeah, man. Okay. Said, no. yeah, man. Okay. So, Colin, um, the CDB, you know, we've been talking about the fact um, for a very long time that we are not investing enough in the creative and cultural industries. But here we are getting another side of the story, which is saying that, you know, there are gaps in data collection and this is why, you know, proper assessments can't be done and we can't maximize the potential. So give us your thoughts on that. Uh, again, Doc, we put out a press release on the 20th. Mm -hmm. We did not see this report from the CDB. Mm -hmm. We put out a, report, a press release calling on the minister mm -hmm. to give the country an update of Jamaica's earning from the sector, the culture and the creative industry. Mm -hmm. And basically, what the CB, CDB is say, also saying is exactly what we've been saying. Mm -hmm. And that it is not just the awareness, but a lack of interest mm -hmm. by governments mm -hmm. in the region. And I, I, I want to speak specifically about my country because I believe that Jamaica have an edge over any other country that is not active in the industry right now mm -hmm. to, to get in and to earn big based on our status where we are located, the fact that we speak English. But the lack of understanding of the industry is what is beating us really bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our leaders, past and present, I quote Julian Robinson, don't understand it. Mm -hmm. And that's why... PNP right now under Mark Walden has decided that we have to take a serious look and to basically put together policy ready to implement upon the PNP winning the next election to bring this country out of poverty to real prosperity for all, not just for a few. Mm -hmm. Because what the culture and the creative industry allows is for the average man on the street to create wealth. Yeah, man, the mm -hmm. barriers to entry are low. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. so, so the CDB said that in 2022, the industry was at $1.4 trillion. Their, their take mm -hmm. on it. I, I, from where my research, we were in 2022 at about $2.3 trillion. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. presently, we are at $3 trillion, over $3 trillion in value on the global market. Right. I am saying that Jamaica must invest in this industry because this is where we are competitive. Mm -hmm. We are not competitive in most other things. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, man. This is the most and competitive. And culture yeah. is what you turn to entertainment. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people in their salary get entertainment allowance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So entertainment culture is really a product that you can export. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Like when you export yam and banana. Mm -hmm. Other countries are doing it and are creating wealth for their people. In fact, South Korea developed a music, you know, called K-pop, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. to drive their economy, you know. You understand? We don't have to develop the music. We have a music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have what it takes to, within five years, Ralston, start earning 30 billion U.S. dollars from the creative industry. Yeah, man. The industry is valued at 3 trillion. It employs over 50 million. Tell all this and what is needed to help us to achieve that objective. Before you so get to that, Colin, we just need to take a short break for a time signal. You're listening to Power 106 FM. The time is now 10.31. This message is brought to you by the Jamaica Environment Trust. We have a right to a healthy environment. Adila, so don't break our bennet. Anybody who pollute cause big problem. Don't just watch it, you have to report them. We need clean air to breathe. Good healthy food to eat. Grown clean and naturally. Take responsibility. Excessive deforestation, burning garbage, dust and noise creation is an unlawful violation. We have to practice conservation. We have a right to a healthy environment. Adila, so don't break our bennet. 
If you have an issue, make a complaint. Let's work together to protect Jamaica. We have a right to a healthy environment. At the last, so don't break our bennet. We have to do it part to keep the place clean. And take care of our island sea. We all have a right to a healthy and clean environment. Report any issues to the authorities if you feel your rights have been breached. Call the Jamaica Environment Trust for more information. Over the last two weeks, we've witnessed how One One Quoker can full basket. Your small contribution has made a big difference in the lives of those who have been most impacted by Hurricane Barrel. And the drive continues, this time at the Cross Keys High School in South Manchester. We're collecting non-perishable food items, tin goods, water, toiletries, batteries, flashlights, whatever you can afford to assist our fellow Jamaicans in Manchester. Drop off at RGR Gleaner 32 Lindos Road or at 7 North Street Kingston by midday on Saturday, July 27. We are on the road to recovery. Together we can. We will make it happen. This work can be done, so let's do it a little by a little. Welcome back to Web Biz. We continue our conversation with Colleen Bell, Deputy Opposition Shadow Spokesman on the Cultural and Creative Industries, responding to the latest CDB report, which indicated that gaps in data collection are preventing Caribbean countries from maximizing the potential of their creative and cultural industries. Welcome back, Colleen. Yes, Doc. Yeah. So the you. question before the break is, uh, what is it that we need to do to achieve our objectives and to really capture... The, the contribution of our cultural and creative industries. All right, so government needs to take the lead role presently mm-hmm. where the industry is. Right. Government's interest in the industry needs to start at about 1% of the industry. Mm-hmm. Earning 30 billion US, creating 500,000 jobs, paying them an average of 60,000 US per year. All right, so how must they express how, that interest? What are the right, actions so that, that are required? So the actions that are required is yeah. that we are going to invest in infrastructure right. to export culture. Okay. That investment will cost the, the country somewhere about 20 billion Jamaican dollars, not US now. Mm-hmm. That, that's about 130 million US mm-hmm. over a three years period. Mm-hmm before you start to the real earning mm-hmm. from the industry. Mm-hmm. So there are things that we need to do mm-hmm. to, to build out that. Some of the infrastructure is present in the country as we speak. Mm-hmm. 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 Not that we are there. Mm-hmm. So that's why we as a country, we as Jamaica, really have a bigger edge over anywhere else in the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. We're not mm-hmm. starting at this industry yet because our culture is also so rich yeah, man. and so well known around the world. Mm-hmm. So you invest that 130 million US dollars over three years mm-hmm. and during that three years that investing you're still going to be earning mm-hmm. because remember the industry is already earning in Jamaica Correct. and mm-hmm. that's why government needs to know how much it is earning now that it is in the informal sector mm-hmm. and to bring it in the formal sector mm-hmm. government investing 20 billion Jamaican dollars over three years to bring the sector to a stage where it now starts taking care of Jamaica mm-hmm. so, because how much per year Jamaican earn again Dalston Sorry? In terms of U.S. per capita. Per capita is just almost 6,000 yeah, change. Going All right. And I'm saying that mm-hmm. capturing 1% mm-hmm. of the culture and the creative industry will bring you out over 500 jobs. 500,000 jobs, sorry. Mm-hmm. Paying them an average of 60,000 U.S. annually. Mm-hmm. No. average out the thing. Right. We also have and more people must understand this, that Jamaica is right now importing over 30 billion Jamaican dollars annually worth of culture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So these are some of the figures that we need to know. Mm-hmm. That if we're buying so much, why we can't sell and we have? Yeah, man, sure. But the problem is, mm-hmm. we don't know how to sell. Mm-hmm. We, at the People's National Party, now understand what we need to do to sell and we want to do it for Jamaica. Okay. We want our people now who have talent mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to start earning from this talent. I, I said it last time, Culture is Jamaica's oil. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is where our money is. Mm-hmm. Stop searching for what we have. We have it already. Okay. Thousands of Jamaicans are millionaires mm-hmm. because of the culture and the creative industry. Yeah, mm-hmm. Man. Mm-hmm. You still have hundreds of Jamaicans who are billionaires. Mm-hmm. If we're talking about Jamaica, you have some Jamaicans 
well, we know it's not Jamaican rich away from reaching rich billion in the U.S. Mm -hmm. But we have a lot of Jamaican millionaires mm -hmm. in the U.S. who yeah, are creative, yeah, yes. who make their money from the culture and the creative industry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we must now start turning the culture, this rich culture that we have, into the kind of entertainment that is created around the world. Arastan, we've been talking about this yourself, yeah, Comrade O'Brien, Simon Kraskill. We've been talking about this, and now we see the CDB saying to people that cheat here, mm -hmm. I'm going to crap the man them attack. Right. The, the, the current minister has a lot of experience in there. Why do you believe it is not happening? The numbers, man, do not understand it. You can't convince him. Well, Stan, they don't have no ex nobody in Jamaica mm. really have the experience in making money out of the creative industry mm -hmm. the way we are to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We, at the PNP, we are learning it. Mm. And I come into this with some experience I have mm. from a previous job I held mm -hmm. and attended a lot of workshop and seminar mm -hmm. on the global stage. Mm -hmm. And I understand and know that culture, not culture, content is king. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's from your culture you create the content. Mm -hmm. We know how to make reggae some fest. Mm -hmm. That happened the other night. The mm -hmm. promoters mm -hmm. should have make at least a million US. Mm -hmm. From reggae song fest mm -hmm. because we talk about festivals in jamaica mm -hmm. it's not just about the festival itself mm -hmm. the festival is content mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. so jamaicans don't understand we are producing a lot of things you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're just not selling it yeah but i'm saying we have a great business manager why is he not seeing that they don't know it well stand it's not black or steel i said to you a while ago mm -hmm. that i said to some people that culture is jamaica's island they tell me it's not a product mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, your, your, your biggest product where you have that is crave on the world stage, you are saying it's not a product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is a product that we need to package and export. This is what our people want to do. Mm -hmm. And the next PNP administration will create the environment, okay. create the opportunities for this to happen because we are going to lead the way in doing the things that government are supposed to do. There are some doors on the global stage right, that, that are close to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Government needs to open these doors. Okay. It is only the government that can open them. And right. that's why I said to you that government must take the lead. Mm -hmm. So if we have an administration that don't understand our oil mine and care, judge and bring up the oil, you need new managers. All right, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank so you. we are ready to do the work. We understand the work. Mm -hmm. And Jamaica should be a wealthy country because if you can create 500,000 jobs with people earning on average 60,000 US annually, mm -hmm. it's big business. Yeah, man. All right. Okay. $30 billion annually in US will stabilize our economy. Yeah, man. The report from the CDB... That's more than the, twice the, the current GDP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. The, the, the report from the CDB, don't take it from me now, but look at the CDB report. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. It tells you that we can earn from this industry big All right. time. All right. Yes, my brother. All right, cool. Okay, cool. cool. Thank you. Yeah, man. That was Colin Bell, Deputy Opposition Shadow Spokesman on the Cultural and Creative Industries, responding to the latest CDP report, which indicated that gaps in data collection are preventing Caribbean countries from maximizing the potential of their creative and cultural industries. Living in the positive.